see what you've got there. What, which decade, eighties or nineties, when when the infrastructure needed to be replaced for all the stormwater? Um, the the infrastructure was a mess already by the beginning of the nineteen eighties. It you know this this was not anything that developed. It certainly continued to to get worse before it was repaired. But the city has done a lot to replace and repair some of those old, you know, often lead uh, or clay uh, pipes that in the karst topography that we live in, uh, not only does, does the limestone send water essentially untreated very quickly from one place to another, but it also moves a lot. And that contributes to the uh, breakage of of sewage lines very, very easily. And one, one of the things I think from Eureka and Fayette shared was that sense that here we are in a very fragile ecosystem in an area where you can see how quickly water moves. If you put a drop of dye uh, upstream, it travels underground and through that limestone landscape um, so quickly, and it's so easy to pollute the entire aquifer. Uh, not not just your community, but the whole area. So it's a real concern, I think, for all of us. In those days, not that many of us had heard about cars. Yeah, that's true. I I knew about it mainly from Autumn's poetry, <laughs> his his poems about limestone landscapes, and so it was very interesting to me to learn more about, you know, what it means to have all these caves and sinkholes and uh, the kinds of rock formations that, that uh, we have throughout this area and, and why that's an issue both for water and for, for wastewater. Besides the broken clay pipes and um, there were one of the methods for repair of the lines was just putting a pie tin over it. People would joke about that. A pie tin. <laughs> <laughs> and a little duct tape. <laughs> but uh, now that they uh, put some new lines in, it's interesting to see that the what little soil there is washes out from under the lines, and you can see a PVC line going across a hollow, mm -hmm. just hanging there in midair. So when you have just a thousand water customers and sixty thousand feet of sewer line, it's a lot to be covering that you don't 